Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be running you through my shop update. I worked on my shop update for the last three days and on screen you can see what it looks like on social media but in reality it was completely different. I had a disastrous day on my first day and then at the end I'm going to be doing a business Q&A so stick around for that. Before we get started though, I wanted to say a huge thank you to No Issue for sponsoring Arumi and I with our My Stationery subscription box with these gorgeous tote bags. I've taken it nearly every day to the post office and we love them. So I'll put No Issue's um, website in the description box below. They have lots of great business packaging um, products for you guys. So I definitely recommend for you to check them out. So my day started out pretty average. I had a shop order the night before which I was really excited about because it was from Etsy. I've only recently transitioned my website from my Squarespace to Etsy. So this was one of the first orders I received over on Etsy. Um, and I headed off to the post office in the morning because I wanted to pick up my new vinyl sticker paper. Um, throughout the rest of this video, you'll see me making um, die cut stickers. I also needed to go to Officeworks because I'm changing my padded envelopes to plain envelopes. Um, because, yeah, shipping's changed within Australia and we can't send padded envelopes off um, any more standard letters. We have to send them as parcel prices, unfortunately. So shipping has been very expensive. I did get someone ask me last week how to ship internationally without it becoming really expensive. And at the moment, I don't have an answer for you yet because I'm still working it out myself. Um, the best thing that I've done so far is just take out padded envelopes so that it will be sent as a standard letter and hopefully the actual bubble wrap won't get detected and it might not get shipped back to you um, because we've had a lot of letters just not leave Australia, they just get returned to sender. So that's been really unfortunate and something we've been dealing with, but um, I mean us as in small business owners, um, I've been on the Facebook group and a lot of people have been complaining about that so it's been unfortunate but we've just got to change our shipping prices um, and for me I'm just going to get more stock that um, needs to be sent as package prices so things like washi tape and stuff like that so I'm excited to get a larger range in my shop um, so what you can see on film now is I'm actually trying to figure out the settings for Cricut Maker to actually cut the whole way through the vinyl paper. So before I had a very thin sticker paper and the vinyl paper is making me really frustrated because I keep changing the settings and every time I change it, um, it just doesn't cut. I actually found a kiss cut setting though, which I was excited about because that means that I can actually start making my own sticker sheets from home if I want to because I found the setting now. <laughs> I could not find it before, so I'm glad I stumbled across that one. Um, once again, I try to peel off another sheet and I keep getting it... Um, only one or two cut the whole like the full way through so I try again and again and again and it keeps coming up short and then finally I get really close to if I like finding the right setting and then as soon as I do oh my goodness my printer decides to break so it keeps coming up with a red notice saying that it's jammed and I'm and I'm thinking what's going on I keep checking the back of the printer and there is no paper being jammed I think I got about one more print in before it just completely stopped working and I had to jump on the phone to Canon now Canon wasn't a help at all they couldn't hear me very well for some reason the line um was yeah really bad quality so he kept putting on me on hold I think I was on the phone for about an hour 
The jamming took about 30 minutes to try to figure out. So at this point, I've lost like an hour and a half of my day just on printer issues. And I got really disheartened, so I called a roomie. Um, I'm doing a collaboration with her for my stationery subscription. And I just like complained on the phone to her for so long. And she told me to go to Officeworks and just get them printed from there. So um, I'm so glad that she gave me that suggestion. I came back from Officeworks with my new printed paper and I think I'm actually going to do this regularly instead of printing on my printer because it's very slow and the quality is way better at Officeworks. It's 69 cents a sheet um, but I definitely think, think it's going to be worth it um, to get that printed. And then I messed around with the settings again and then it finally cut the whole way through and then disaster hits. My Cricut machine jams. Like first my printer jams and then my Cricut machine jams and I've completely lost it. So I go to the gym, I just get out of the house and then finally I fix the Cricut again and it cuts the whole way through and my day comes to an end. <laughs> so the next morning I try to wake up with a positive mindset since I finally have all of my pages printed, I figured out the right setting and I feel a lot better now that I fixed the Cricut. I actually didn't film past when I came back from the gym but I actually cut a lot more stickers that night and they all started turning out really really well. So for the rest of the day I just needed to pack orders and I actually found like I designed some really cute packaging that worked really well with the die cut stickers. Um, I'm super proud of them <laughs> and yeah the rest of the day pretty much was smooth sailing I didn't have any disasters and I actually made some content for social media so I actually made that video that you saw at the start and then I just packed all my bundles up and yeah I was ready for some new product shots for the following day so by the end of this day, I got everything packed and ready to go for the shop update. And then the next day, I took all of the product photos. So, since there's no disasters for this day, and I it was pretty smooth sailing, I'm going to go through some more questions for you guys. So, someone asked me, how do I set my prices? Now, you should know who your competitors are and the people who are in your industry when you open up your shop for the first time. So make sure you've done your research. I usually go to um, a few shops on Etsy, look at their prices and basically find an average for mine. Um, so depending on the quality and the size, I generally try to work out what's average for like across the market so I'm not going to put myself at the cheapest end I'm not going to put myself at the like most expensive side I try to set myself roughly in the middle so setting prices for me it's pretty easy I basically just do some market research see what everyone else is setting their prices at and I roughly put myself in the middle um, just depending on if my stickers are bigger, I'll, I'll charge a little bit more. If I feel like my stickers are better quality, I'll charge a bit more. If I feel like they're lacking quality, I'll charge a bit less. That's basically how I set my prices. Um, someone asked, where do you source your stationery or is it everything done in house? Okay. Where do you source your stationery? Is it done in house? So, um, as you can see my die cut stickers, I'm doing them all in-house. Um, my sticker sheets, I've just gone to a local printer. Um, basically, I've worked out the cost per sheet and if it's cheaper for me to do at home, I'll do it at home. If it's cheaper for me to send to a print or manufacturer, I'll just do that. Things like washi tape and stuff like that, um, I can't do at home because I don't have the equipment. So I'll send those off and I'll do the research, I'll look around. Um, I've actually got an amazing business partner, a roomie, <laughs> who has given me a lot of um, details of her like manufacturers and things like that. So I would highly recommend finding someone who's doing something similar to yourself. So if you are opening up a stationery store in particular, Try to find someone in your own country, either close by so you can grab a coffee or someone who's keen to jump on Zoom or the phone every now and then 
because a roomie has been my lifesaver. Like whenever things go wrong, whenever things are like slow, I always give her a call. So I would highly recommend you find someone to call um, just to keep motivated and also just ask general questions. Morning guys, I have my shop update tonight, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna jump right in and take product photos, then I'm gonna edit this video and get everything set on Etsy for the update. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you got some good ideas from it. If you have any questions about starting a business, um, please let me know in the comment section and I'll make a follow-up video for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.